Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. So, uh, I just went and got my buckets and just did a bit of r round of picking up some uh, bot parts and stuff like that. Just so uh, we have some extra items. Uh, I also went and got a bunch of milk, um, <laughs> you know, fed the uh, the corn to the walks or whatever they're called, just so I had a, a bunch of that. Uh, oh, I had more corn on me, I forgot about that. Uh, anyways, yeah, so um, we're sort of prepared for our uh, episode today. Uh, I found a seat, which is kind of cool. I think that's just a passenger seat, so it's like kind of useless. I mean, I could always just, you know, use it here. <laughs> just place it here for fun, you know. Oh, there you go. Ah. But anyways, uh, yeah, so we want to do some farming today. Anyways, that's that's the goal today. Um, we, we need to get uh, working on that. That's something we've wanted to do for a bit. I've just been obviously delaying it on purpose. Our food levels are, well, they're not a big deal right now because um, obviously I went and picked up some uh, stuff from the the crates around the world when I was out, but uh, normally it's not so good. So I found glass. I don't even know where I got the glass from. It's just I have glass. I can't tell you when and where and all that. I just know we have glass now. So um, let's just throw all that in there. I want to finish up actual the, the actual foods. Might as well. And then, uh, yes, yeah, so let's get rid of that. Oh, I guess the inventory is full. This is probably pretty full too, huh? Um, some things don't need to be. Uh, I guess we can stack that in there. Anyways, uh, I might need some of this wood, so let's hold on to some of this. Is this just basic wood, I guess? Yeah, I went and got some basic wood at one point. forget when that was even. Uh, but that'll be useful. And then... Uh, yeah, so let's do something uh, with all this stuff. Do we have more of this stuff? Oh, yeah, we do. I should probably hold on to this. Just so... Because I probably might need some today. I'm not sure, to be honest. But... Uh, oh, nice. Look at that. We got a lot of these guys. It's the upgrade ones we don't have a lot of. But then we kept spending it when we were doing stuff like this. Which we were looking at uh, needing some parts today. I'm not sure if we'll get to those ones particularly. But uh, it's not a big, idea, uh, big deal to me. So let's go ahead and look at our seeds. So if we go ahead and pick up our seeds here, got a bit of everything anyways, and then we can, yeah, we got lots of soil. Uh, we don't need this much uh, off, obviously, but uh, interesting. Well, I can't shift, huh? Oh, interesting. I didn't realize I couldn't shift with that. So I was thinking to bring it somewhat close to the, the shore. Um, Oh, it looks like you have to have a certain tilt and degree and stuff like that. But yeah, I thought if it was closer to the shore, it's just easier to water. That's that's how I see it. So unless this game, you know, tells me otherwise, uh, I think that's the way I want to go. And it looks like you can put this quite close too, which is not a bad idea. Overlapping it, you know, makes denser farms, right, easier to work with. Well, you know, might as well do that. It looks like that's actually on purpose, so they can you can you know make an actual nice little uh, spot for it. Oh no, that bothers me. It's like now we can't have that there. Okay. It's like I only want to do it to the where it can work. Hopefully you can work on this end. Oh no. Too steep? Did it say? I think it actually said too steep. But uh, you get the idea, anyways. <laughs> Now I want to know if I can, uh, oh, I'm out anyways. I got just those two. I can get more, obviously, but can you work all the way up here? Yeah, you can. It's not a big deal, but it's just like, I want it kind of even. It's scrap mechanic, and I try to make everything nice and even. Yeah, that one won't work there anyway, so there we go. I could be happy with that. So... Obviously, some seeds were good, some weren't. I think the uh, red beet was pretty good. Um, weight, durability, friction, they don't tell you here. I feel like the red beets were really good. The tomatoes, not so much. Carrots, eh. Yeah, I feel like red beets were like one of the better ones out there. I could be wrong on that, but uh, I feel like I'd rather just plant a bunch of red beets, honestly. Let me just grab some more of these too. Go oh, crazy. Where's our patch? Here it is. So you can fertilize it as well. I don't know if you really need the fertilizer, honestly. It is a, a function, a feature. Um, it probably just honestly makes it grow faster, which I mean, 
That alone is always a worthwhile endeavor. I didn't check this one first. Oh, it works. There you go. It's like, do we keep going? Might as well. If it works, it works, right? Let's check this one. Yeah. <laughs> do we have enough to do one more layer? How many is in there? Yeah, oh yeah, we do. As long as it fits. Yep. Okay, there you go. That's our farm. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna do. Okay, left. Okay, left click the plant. So like I said, I think I'm just gonna do a big farm of red beets. For the fact, I think it'd just be a lot easier to work with. Uh, I feel like one material is easier to work with than like say multiple materials. Anyways, I think that's kind of a normal thing to be honest. So, um, yeah. So let's just do all red beets. And then we got to water it, which the the regular watering method is a bit of a pain, but it's uh, I guess you can survive. Oh, look at that! Just went off. Okay, so let's go and put this all in here, and then uh, these are kind of getting low. Well, not right now, but later on. Uh, so let's fill all this with water containers. And I wanted more water containers. I might as well just like fill this up with water containers, but. Water container. Do we have any more water containers? No. Now I had the the basic metal here. The reason I was getting some of this is because I can also use this for more water containers if I really wanted to. I mean, I don't really need to go nuts with it, but it does make it a little easier to deal with, honestly. So uh, it wasn't a big deal to me. Um, it's like I've seen these water containers up and down, and now I can't find them apparently. Twenty seconds. We'll just come back in a minute for you guys. Eight hours. Oh, eight in-game hours? Oh, uh, why? Why? Oh, oh, oh. I wonder if that's eight hours till the attack or eight hours till they're all done. I think it might be an attack. That's probably what it is. Oh, these AoE. No. Well, yeah, sort of. I've seen it. I saw an AoE, but I don't know how that's done. Uh, big idea. I can do it by hand. This is a lot of effort. If you get one beat per plant, this is a lot of effort, I will admit. <laughs> That'd be funny if it, that's exactly what it is. One beat per... I definitely saw some kind of... Uh... I swear we did the one AoE, but I'm not sure how or what that was about. Unless you can do it like downhill like this. Oh. Well, it kind of worked. Oh, that kind of works. That kind of works. It does look like it can slightly do an AoE if you get the right angle. I wonder if I go like this. Can it? Oh. So I got. No, you got the next one, but not that one. Oops. This actually works out because it's like 5 5 5. There you go. And then I might need more water containers later on. So blah, blah, blah. That's good. So these can grow. I mean, obviously, if you fertilize it, I think it grows more. I don't even know what it costs to make fertilizer. Don't know if I care even enough to make fertilizer. You know what I mean? Um, but I do know it can be useful. So I'm going to craft all these because I feel like that's just a good way of uh, working with those. Um, so what does fertilizer look like in here? Huh. Oh, here it is. No, that's glue. Sorry. You know what? I don't think I... You know what? Fertilizer I don't think is actually found in here, huh? Well, that's an interesting thing if you can't find it in here. So, makes you wonder, like, is there another method of making fertilizer? Or, you know, how does that work then? I guess we'll just be pondering that. I think I'll leave it alone and see what happens without fertilizer, obviously, just to um, get an idea what happens in the long run. But it should grow, from what I'm understanding. 
But yeah, this is a good way of uh, building up these water containers. I actually didn't even try. I mean, can I actually click these on things to throw water? Like, I've never tried that. Can I... Well, like, place them down, so... <laughs> well, we know they're for crafting recipes, obviously, for some recipes out there, so... That's always good. Um, oh, by the way, you know what this chest, you know, I mocked this chest. You know what I noticed on the side? Yeah, those those slots. The This is related to that whole vacuum stuff and whatnot, which this also has them on there. So it's related to automation. So this chest is actually special. Actually, has two of the three of them on there uh, because it actually can be used for automation later on. So um, I shouldn't have badmouthed it. It's obviously not going to be too bad. So... I just want to let you guys know there is an actual use for it for later on, and uh, yeah, bad me for thinking it was useless, you know. Okay. Wish there was like a sort of a sign seeing how how well it's doing, but so yeah, there was a we wanted to check out something actually. Let's let's check that out here in a second here. So we wanted to see. Um, some of this. So there was the sucker thingy ma bumper, and then there was the other one. So the vacuum pump. Uh, vacuum pump has many uses. Triggers suck water in water container. Uh, pick up plants to a chest. It can even shoot and place items from a chest. So that's actually really cool. This thing has like a lot of freaking uses. Uh, it needs the charred wood. We were actually really low on the charred wood, actually. Uh, we have one, one. Actually, we might actually have enough charred wood. Yeah, not so bad when you... Oh, and I actually have more here. Okay, not so bad. Um, and I need metal. You, are you metal? You're metal. You're that concrete, I think. That doesn't make sense. I must have had way more metal than that. I had some in here, too. So did we only really get 130 of that before? Or, or no, you know what? We spent some. We spent 60 on the chest, too, and stuff. Okay, maybe that's not so bad. Um, you need at least 20, I guess, for that. So 20 for that. Or actually 10, sorry, my mistake. And then there was this container, the water container, which you need another 10 for anyways, and some glue. So let me dump some of this. I feel like we're going to want that or should have had that, but whatever. Yeah, two hours and a bit, so... From my understanding, things are going to get nutty around here. I've decided to use that term just to make you uncomfortable. Uh, so let's collect those guys. Let's go ahead and build this. And then we got to build this. Oh, no. Come on. We have to have more. Yes, we do. And then I need my glue. Where's that snuff? There it is. And then we can craft that. There we go. So that'll be interesting to see how that works. It's supposed to, you know, pump it obviously for you. And then you have a cannon here as well where you can use this to squirt with. Now you might need to, I've never done anything like the cannon here, for example. I don't know if this can pivot on anything. Like I can just control it like a, a pivot or if I need even a special machine to, to make it pivot, right? So uh, obviously all that's new to me, uh, but I, I might as well attempt it eventually here. Um, that's the idea here, right? So... But just be warned, all this is new to me, so I'm sure things won't go exactly to plan here. Um, I don't really need these anymore. What's the time on here? One hour? Okay. Um, oh yeah, force place. There you go. I was like, I remember there's a way to do this. Oops. I think if my butt's in the way sometimes, it doesn't quite work. There you go. That's my bucket storage for now. We have even water. Oh, no, we had water, and then I picked it up and used it, and blah, 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 and this is just the other water. And I'm just putting some stuff out. I, I need to do some organization eventually, but this big chest will probably use for something more important, obviously, now. So I'll, I'll stick to the smaller chest for the future. I'm just going to dump all this in here. I don't want to deal with it right now. Um, I don't even need that tool. Well, that tool is better to hold on and then keep that, I guess, for now. These stupid tires everywhere. <laughs> we had one in, uh, elsewhere, I think, I threw around. I don't know if we still do, actually. So you got the water pump. Now we're waiting for the tank. So as far as I know, you just put this, like, near the water. 
and it does its thing. So is it kind of funny because it, it goes every way but the way I want it to go. Why is that? Huh. You gotta admit, it's a bit funny that it goes everywhere but the way you want it. I wonder why that is. Because I assume it goes, well, maybe it works this way, I don't know. Maybe I was thinking it, I, I thought this would suck it, but maybe that works that way, I don't know. Oh my goodness, the time must be here. So this is what happens at night. Oh no, they just go for it, they don't care. Oh, they're not, they're, they don't, they don't care about me, they just go for it completely holy crap they are insane they've just wiped out the whole farm instantly okay they they wipe it right away well those seeds didn't last Okay, so we're gonna have to do that obviously again. We, we lost it all. You don't even get the seeds. You lose it. They're gone So they're you know all that's gone. So now what we have to do is I guess do the same idea But this time somehow try to protect it more. I don't even know if I can do that to be honest just because uh <laughs> Well, well, we'll try, obviously, but I feel like, is there something in there? What's glowing in there? Oh, it's those slug things, I think. Damn, that's that's awesome. That's a little hardcore, though, but uh, I didn't expect to get beaten down that bad. And it gets apparently worse each night. Like, so that's the beginning. Like, that's just how it is right now. Apparently, it'll escalate and get a lot worse as time goes on. If you can believe that, it's like... Worse than that? I can't believe we lost our, of all our vegetables and... Well, I guess beets did not survive well. <laughs> okay, let's play with our uh, little contraptions here anyways. We gotta have some fun out of uh, losing everything here. So let's figure out what this does. So we have this, that, 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 and we might need to play with these a bit. Okay, so I might need to put this in the ground or something Just so we can test this out better. Where is that? I should probably do it in front of this Now you gotta be careful because these guys might even fight and destroy even this thing, right? So if you have it a little further out, maybe they won't do that. Let's see if this can do better on this maybe Oops Oh, there it is Okay, and then you put this water tank on it. I think it's working, but I don't think it's the right way, maybe. Or maybe, oh, there you go. You have to admit, that looks more appropriate. Now it could be a very slow process or it's not working right. Yeah, one looks like output, the other one looks like input obviously, so. Um, I might not have, you know, like I tried to put the bottom on here, but I might, like it might not be on the right. Uh, I don't know, it does look like it had the thing on the bottom, the little tube there. Let's try it that way. No, it definitely looks like it connects. Eh. It's hard to tell, to be honest. Yeah, that definitely looks right, because there's none on that end, but there was one on that end. Okay, let's just leave it for a minute, see if it works. This might just have to go out further too, right? Maybe it's too close in the water, like it needs a, a bit more deeper water, I'm thinking. So I could actually probably start planting that anyways there. Okay, 
Yeah, let's, let's just take this out. I, I think that's probably going to be what it is. Uh, I hope that's not too shallow, too, like, because I keep putting it in kind of deep, right? So. I feel like I should hear more. You should see more, you know what I mean? It's like, how do I know I'm doing it right? Let it just fall in. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> it actually floats. You know what? Let's take this out. I wonder. Oh, it's green as well. Never mind. I was wondering. Oh, wait. Is there a way to flip it around maybe? Like the green. You know how it's green? Maybe it needs to be blue somehow. No, I don't see see a way to change those. Is there another side of this? I don't think so. You know, it got me thinking maybe that... Uh, yeah, we had it sink and it still didn't work. That was weird. I was just starting to think maybe that... Uh, you know what? Maybe it, we're just putting it in the water. Maybe you're not supposed to put it in the water. Let's just do like this instead. Maybe like it works its way in, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh! Did you just see water fly floating down magically? I think that might have been it. Maybe that's what? We weren't supposed to submerge it, you know? You'd think you'd submerge it, but maybe you don't submerge it. Wait, it didn't even look like it was on there, did it? Did it look like it was on there correctly, or did it look like it was actually gapped out a bit? Maybe it isn't. So, yeah, when that's on there, it definitely lights up, so. But did you see the, the bubbles kind of floating up? Is that just happened when I'm around anyways, or was this a little special? Could have just been me kicking up the water, actually. Darn it. Yeah, if I were to guess, I assume what happens is the water goes inside there. And then you pick it up like the regular water that we already have. So it can stack up like a nice amount and you get compact water. Maybe you're supposed to use a bucket or something, you know, or I don't really know. I'm just guessing. I might have to pause it here and uh, play around with it a while. Maybe it just takes a lot longer than I thought. So let's put some of this in here for fun anyway. So there's 13 of it. So if I go like this, it doesn't do anything. I've, oh, but it does show the level though. That's cool. Um, what about that tool we were playing with? Yeah, what's this do? Oh, you know what? Maybe you need a button. Why didn't I think about that before? Maybe... It requires sucking it in and whatever. Because everything in this game is very, you know, button-friendly oriented. You know what I mean? So maybe that's what we're missing here. We just need a freaking button. A button. Um, you might want this instead, actually. It's like the button sounds cool, but I don't know if we want that one or the other one. I think it's time to upgrade this because why not? So it can upgrade to level 20. I don't know what level 20 does. I guess that means I need to go and farm those for a while, huh? I think the next episode, we're going to go and just visit like a whole bunch of places just to, you know, farm them. I think we're going to put a bed on the back of our vehicle too and use that as our, you know, travel. Maybe put uh, the, the new chest on there. The, the new chest has one good thing. It's actually lighter. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed that, but it, I mean, it's, it's a feature anyways. So I'm wondering what happens if I do this now. <laughs> okay, that works. Okay, now we want to do the opposite now. 
That is awesome. But it doesn't seem to run nonstop. It. Oh, I take that back. Oh my goodness, there you go. Look at that, we're getting so much water out of that. Okay, how do you think this thing works now? I'm sure that's not set right, but it kind of looks right. Oddly enough. By the way, we have this for a reason. <laughs> I had it a reason. Oh, there you go. Oh, you have a th switch to it. Let's see what happens when we hook it to the button. Maybe. Let's see what happens when we hit the button. Maybe when we switch it around. I want to see what it looks like. Um, there we go, like that first. Okay, so it has a thing on that side. Okay, now let's do it so we can look on the bottom of it here. Oh, there's nothing there. Okay, so if we were... Oh, crap. I need to see this again. So it's right there. So if we were... Oh, no. Didn't we do it that way, actually? Or did I... No, maybe I didn't do it that way. So let's point it like this. There you go. So it doesn't do anything there. Let's rewire this again. No, nothing yet. So that's a whole new ball game, my friends. It's red though. I wonder if that's just just showing you different colors to make it easier or if red actually means something, you know. That's what happens when you break that. Cool. Anyways, uh, this is cool. So look at that, how much water we got for this. So now we never have to like hand do this water ever again, which I mean, that's Christmas Day right there. Uh, how to get this thing working. That's that's a whole nother uh, ball game, obviously. Um, I'll play around with that. Give me a few minutes and I'll just see what comes up. Okay, so this you guys are going to laugh at this, but I actually think this is how Ah, I keep getting stuck under the I know I'm bad. I should have probably should have done this in a way that I'm going to have issues getting up. I wonder if that's enough to like. Anyways, um, what were we doing? Oh, yeah. So watch this. So if we connect the yeast guys and we take this. So th this is where I was screwing up on. We have to connect this to here. And then, well, you don't, you don't even need to connect that button. Let's make a new button. But uh, the idea is it was a lot different than I expected, actually. Um, way different. Um, so I'll show you here. I thought it was more about um, having to connect it to the tubes and doing everything. I think this actually does it kind of magically. I could be wrong, but it did seem... I was playing around with it a bit, and it honestly seemed like it was doing it in more of a magical sense. So if that's the case, that kind of changes how this works quite differently than I, what I expected. So uh, let's just put the button here for now, and then uh, wire it up. Watch this. It's magical. So that's a lot different than I expected, honestly. So... Um, you could put this on like a timer block or maybe another method and then you could do a straight shot here or you could, you know, there, there's things you can do. Like, you remember we were playing with the rotor there, uh, the rotors, and then there was that other block on there. I think you could play with that even and do something with it. Um, do you need that powered or not? I wonder. I've never, let's try it without power. You probably need it powered though. But maybe not. I, I don't know much about this stuff. So, you know, scrap mechanics uh, for me is, you know, still obviously very new. So, um, but I was actually thinking something like this. So let's just throw this here. And I wonder if we take this and put this right here and put this on top. I wonder what would happen if we were to wire that. Wire you to this. Wire you to this. Obviously, you need like a timer block or something if it, it doesn't stay on. 
Um, but yeah, I wanted to see what would happen here. Okay, let's put this now. Like I said, I don't know how this works. I don't even know if that does anything. Oh, there's a... Yeah, I don't think this actually is doing anything yet. Oh, no, I take that back. It did something. Oh, my goodness. We did it. Okay. So I don't know what the right settings are for here, obviously, but it did definitely do something there. So what you need to do is somehow get it to swing back and forth. I don't know if you can do that. So um, was it this one that did the turning? Yes, it was. Okay. So what happens if I do the opposite turning on you? Do you fight back or anything like that? Or do you just sit there? You probably just sit there. Oh, but there's a loop system here. <gasps> oh, look at that. Okay. Let's see. Can you go? Okay, let's bring you. This is kind of hard to control, to be honest. So you go to 90 degrees. What happens here? Nothing. I mean, this might be the wrong setting. I, I think there's like... Each setting means something, obviously. I just don't know how it works. This is like a chain, right? Starts with this and then goes through this. Oh, that's what it does. That makes sense, actually. So it goes to this angle, which, by the way, would actually... It's pretty cool, actually. Um, so it goes to that angle. And then it can go 45 this one. Would that work if it loops it up? I feel like you were already in the loop. What happens if I go the opposite? So you're doing meh, and then you do eh, and then you do eh. No, it doesn't work that way. Let's do this way instead. There you go. <laughs> I overdid it, obviously, but... No, it doesn't seem to do it that way. Any of you guys do that or no? No, it doesn't seem to do that with any of them. Interesting. Let's bring that to zero. Can you click this in any way? No. Connection, speed. So this will bring it back to normal. I'm just wondering now if I can tell it to go do the other instructions at all. No, I can't seem to do that at all with this thing. Now, I didn't check, honestly. Uh, can you wire this to a panel? Yes, you can. Oh, no, sorry. That you can, obviously. Um, sorry, I meant can I wire this to a button, maybe? Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, there we go. That's what we're doing. Okay, now this makes sense. I didn't have it powered on, so I was kind of... This is like its default form when it's not powered on, I guess, maybe the one. And then, so what you do now is you can say, okay, I want you to go to 45 this way, and I want you to go 45 this way. And this should basically go back and forth in an arc. I think. Or is that only when it's powered? I thought we had... Oh, 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 oh. Okay. It might require... Oh, no, loop wasn't on. <laughs> Let's try the loop again. Sorry. That might have just been why the loop. So if it does it again, then that's what it does. There you go, my friends. That's how it works. Though I thought I would have 45 there and then 45 the other way and then zero, right? Apparently not. So you can turn it off now. Um, let's see. So if this is the default position, if I put this to 45 and this to the other 45, then what would happen here? Ah, I think we got it. Though I don't think it's on right now, so. Um, no, apparently we went way too far. <laughs> well, apparently we found a way to make it go really crazy there. 
I think we've uh, put it inside out at this point. Either way, obviously it's something I have to learn to play with, but uh, that's that's a pretty cool feature, anyways. Ah, cool. Something I obviously have to practice and work on over time and do better. So what I think we'll do is we'll forego the farm today and, uh, you know, we attempted, we failed. I'll have to do a better, you know, system on this or attempt to do a better system with that. Play with it. Maybe make a timer block. I think next episode what we're going to do is we're going to go like full raid mode. We're going to go and visit a bunch of places and raid them out. And this way I can get some time to learn and play around with this. We might need more materials for some equipment as well. So that'll help us with that. But uh, either way, that was fun. We learned a lot here. Uh, we made a little water cannon. We did farming-ish. Obviously, uh, we got raided hardcore. I feel like that was way too raided though. I feel like normally you wouldn't get raided that badly. One thing we can consider and maybe help a lot is even the water cannon might actually help protect our farm. And the reason I'm saying that is when they come and fight, if the water cannon hits them, as far as I know, if you throw water on the creatures, they stun them. So that might actually be something that that can actually benefit us there. So, yeah, so when you, you start dying from hunger or dehydration, whatever, it, it's actually hard to run back. It slows you down. So I had some stuff in here anyways. I guess milk, carrots, tomatoes. There you go. I guess the carrots fed. Actually, the carrots fed well. How do you do? Okay. Carrots are actually really food-wise. I might do more carrots then. Because they go through the food more, I think, than water. And then, I, I mean, there's stuff like milk and stuff like that, too. So carrots might not be a bad one to grow. Obviously, I'd probably get my ass handed to me. So I'll have to figure out, you know, how to protect this. What I want to do is get the water cannon maybe somehow automated a wee bit. But it's not a big deal. Honestly, I don't mind doing this manual. But uh, I think the biggest thing is how to protect this. Because, like, we died, like, like... It was insane. There was way too many of them. Like, it felt like there was a lot of, like, aggression built up there. Um, you know, for our first farm, that seems a bit insane how bad that was. So, maybe it was the size of it, or maybe there was another reason that triggered it. I'm not sure. But anyways, thank you guys and girls so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see you wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.